My dad would like to know if you have any grandsons my age. <laughs> she, she wants to know if you have any grandsons her age. How many shares of stock do you have? And I'll tell you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> also, what investment advice do you have for young people of my generation? Yeah, well, I, uh, I've got a grandson fairly close to your age, and he probably would go for a younger woman anyway, so that <laughs> I will mention him to you, <laughs> mention you to him. The, uh, no, if you're interested in financial matters, A, a you've got to have something to work with. I mean, I, I, I was fortunate in that respect because my dad paid for my education. Uh, if he hadn't, I probably wouldn't have become educated if I had to pay for it myself. But, so I was able to save $10,000 by the time I was 21. And, uh, you know, that was a huge, huge head start. Uh, if I hadn't been able to do that and, you know, my first child came along when I was 22, so I mean, the, the family... It's, it's much easier to save it uh, in those teenage years if you're lucky enough to be in a family where you don't have what your parents are taking care of your financial obligations. Uh, every dollar then is you know worth making ten or twenty dollars later on. And so if you are interested in financial matters, getting a stake early uh, is very useful and getting knowledge early is very useful. So uh, you know I would say you're well on well on the way if it, if at 11, you're even interested in coming to a meeting like this, and I would, if that interest is maintained, you know, I would read financial publications. I would, I would read whatever was of interest to me. I'd, I'd be curious about how the businesses around uh, the town of Kearney operated. I would, uh, to the extent that you can get people to talk to you, and people usually like to talk, you know, learn about who's got good businesses in Kearney and why they're good businesses and learn about the businesses that went out of business and why they went out of business and just keep accumulating knowledge. That's one of the beauties of the business that Charlie and I are in is that everything is cumulative. The stuff I learned when I was 20 is, is useful today, not necessarily the same way and not necessarily every day, but it, it, it's useful. So you're building a database in your mind that is going to pay off over time. But you have to have a little money to work with. So there's nothing like there's nothing like getting a few dollars ahead, stay away from credit cards, and uh, you can have a lot of fun if your mind goes along that track as you get older. Charlie? Well, I'm glad to see somebody that has so early shown an interest in getting ahead. There's nothing wrong with getting ahead. And actually, she may have the best idea about getting ahead by learning the name of my grandson. <laughs> well, there I can give the young lady some advice. Before your feelings totally take over, you should look carefully at both parents and all four grandparents. 